Philbin Files. We are in the creative land today because I want to talk, well, I want to experiment and I want to just share the experiment with you. I want to see what the relative um, value is in moving some of these thermal expansion machines from basic to hardened to reinforced to resonant frames. Now, if you're not familiar with these, I'm not going to go too in depth, but they're things that they're used for making things like these uh, pulverizers and fern redstone furnaces and a variety of things. All the recipes are the same, with the exception of the machine frame that gets put in inside it. So this resonant frame gives you the resonant pulverizer. The hardened frame gives you the hardened pulverizer. So what I've done, my text has been lost on that one. This is supposed to sit, figures. Uh, all right, give me just a second here. I think I still have, no? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I gotta remember which kind of world I'm in here before I start clicking things too much. Doot, 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 doot. And then, nope, shift. There we go. This is 2.5x power. How did I do these? 2x power stored, so that's 2x, 2.5x, and this is 2 extra augments, 3 extra augments. Okay, anyway, all right. So what I've got here is I've got a little setup here. They've all got power, and I've let them all charge up completely before I um, started this. Um, I've got hoppers. All the hoppers are full of iron, and I've got basic, um, hardened, reinforced, and resonant. Um, pulverizers. And when I flip the switch over there, they're all going to turn on and start pulverizing things. And I want to see how long it takes for this one. Let's see, we're going to see this one make some number, and then we're going to stop it, and then it, we're going to see how many the rest make. And I'm using the redstone alloy because the redstone alloy um, activates almost instantly when when the lever is clicked so I know I'm turning them all on and off at the same time. There's one little trick to this in that if it's part way through processing it's going to keep processing. Apparently if it gets a redstone signal it will run just one of these all the way through. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's go ahead and start the test here. Go ahead and let it start here while I talk a little bit about some of this. Some obvious differences I've noticed are how much power is in each one. Um, the, you know, this one's 120,000 RF, this one's 96,000, 72,000, 48,000. The other difference is in these augments. So this one here has three augment slots, this one here has four, five, and six. So my sign here should really say, let me go ahead and fix that. So 2x power stored, 3, three extra augment slots. There, okay. So this one here has six augments that can be put in. They all come with the standard three. So now let's come over here and say, okay, those are pretty close to the same there. See, I was hoping, you know, like, it would follow the power. So, like, this one here is 1x power, and this is 2x power. I would hope was hoping that this one would be twice as fast. So let's go ahead and stop that, and I'll, we'll take a quick peek. You'll see that one there. It's maybe they're all still kind of finishing. So we've got 18 
24, 20. So it's not exactly a clear winner with the speed that, yeah, I was really hoping this would be, you know, like, you know, say 18, this one should be 36, or maybe this one should be 36. It's a little faster. But not quite worth the extra effort to make all the way up to the resonant. Now, the other thing is that these things all take, let's go with doo -doo 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 -doo, up grain. Is it these upgrades it takes? We'll just see if they fit. No, it's not those upgrades. I need. It's going to be something like. Um, it's going to be in the thermal expansion, and it's going to be one of these. So these augments here: general simulator, coil, flux, secondary gearbox, effectiveness. Energy produced, fuel energy, speed. Okay, so these speeds here. And these these augments are a little different than the other ones. So I'm going to have to put in one of these, and then one of these, and one of these. Let's just grab, this is, so, so yeah, I was expecting a clearer, clearer winner here. That's uh, it's kind of disappointing, actually. Um, so that means that with this, the basic, the simplest one to make, I can get really good performance if I just take out these augments here, like the redstone. I don't really need the redstone all that much in an, in a space that's not this whereas so I could take out the redstone and put in an energy or put in a speed upgrade and this would actually do better than a base resonant energy one I was really hoping there would be more of a more of a difference there it's really kind of kind of funny I mean One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. See, thirty-six would be seventy-two. Not quite. Not quite the difference I was hoping for there. Probably one thing I could do eventually, maybe while I have this set up, is just see if one uses more power. Granted, this one here is quicker. Just not enough to warrant the difference, I guess. So you have four difference, six difference, and another four difference. All right, well, there you have it, a quick little experiment of the, uh, I'm going to land on my perch here, it's a little experiment testing the relative abilities of the different machine frames from thermal expansion. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.